What's going on guys, Connor Wells here, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So it's been quite a while since I've done a little Q&A video, so I decided to post a video on TikTok asking you guys if you have any questions for me, anything about photography, videography, podcast production, or just life in general. So today I'm going to be answering them. Let's roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video, if we're just meeting it's nice to meet you. My name is Connor Wells, I am a photographer, videographer and podcast producer and I make videos around those three subjects every single week, so if that's something you're into, stick around and consider subscribing. So last year I pretty much sort of laughed about TikTok, I just thought it was honestly, I just thought it was just for people who wanted to dance and have a good time and just, you know, lip sync to songs because I think previously it was musically and then TikTok bought it and now it, and now it's TikTok. And to be honest, I, I, I laughed. I laughed at TikTok. I just, I honestly just thought it was a, it was a joke platform or just a place for, for people to dance on. And, um, I was wrong. I've recently just started posting on TikTok like fairly regularly. I've been, I first started out posting like clips from these YouTube videos, just like screen recording. And you know, I got a really, really good response from them. So I thought, you know, I'm actually gonna make, I'm gonna make some content particularly for this. So I set up my tripod, put it in portrait mode and uh, just started posting on TikTok, um, all different things about photography and being full-time creative and photography business advice and, and all that jazz. And uh, it's been amazing. I've had such a lovely response to my videos and honestly, the community, the creative community over there on TikTok is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Everybody's so nice and I've built a really nice community over on my my TikTok account. I'll link it in the description below, and I'll show my username over there somewhere. And um, yeah, do go give me a follow because uh, yeah, there's daily videos over there. But let's not beat around the bush anymore. I have got a whole load of questions um, to answer from you guys. We've we've got we've got a lot to get through. So. Let's start with the first one. Jack North says, why did you choose Canon? Well, originally I was shooting with Nikon. I was using a D3200, then I had a D5600, and uh, yeah, the autofocus just wasn't great for video. It was fantastic for stills photos. It was a great photo camera, but for video work, it just wasn't up to par. You know, I was doing vlogs of it and it was constantly hunting for focus. A bit like filming in 4K on a Canon M50, no shade. So I decided to switch to Canon. I was going uh, on a trip up north to Yorkshire, which is a beautiful, beautiful place. And I had everything with me of my Nikon gear. And I went into a Jessup shop just to have a little look around. I saw that they were doing like trade-in offers so I traded in uh, all of my Nikon gear my camera a couple of lenses and I bought a Canon M50 with the kit lens for about £179 which was uh, a right bargain but onto the question of why did I choose Canon I just love I know it sounds really cliche but I love their color science they're really easy to use they've got a great lens selection the autofocus is absolutely spot on they do a lot of things wrong like crippling their cameras and uh, marketing their cameras wrong the Canon R5 and R6 but on the on the part that they're, they're a really good camera company and uh they're the ones i'm sticking with next question from skies of blue what's your dream camera and lens setup if money was out of the question oh that is a tough question so i'm gonna break it down into two things so if it was photos and then like video video side of things so photos it'll be the canon r5 with the 28 to 70 mil lens the f2 lens that absolute beast heavy ass lens 28 to 70 yeah that would be my dream photo setup because you know you got the canon dual pixel autofocus with the canon r5 you got the incredible color science you got 45 megapixel sensor eye autofocus tracking so moving on to a video setup like my dream video setup i would say the canon c70 i've watched so many videos talking about the canon c70 so many amazing creators talking about how good their experience has been with that camera so i'm gonna have to go 
go with that, but lens option, it's a tricky one. I'd probably go with the RF 15 to 35. You know, it's a good wide focal length. You've got 24, you've got 35 as well. So it's good for sort of those sit down shots or maybe even a 24 to 70. I don't know, it's a tough choice video wise, but I know photo wise, it would be the 28 to 70 with the Canon R5. This next question is from Nick Faulkner 7. How much do you make a month doing your job? Hope this isn't rude, but I think it's important and not many people talk about the money side of things. That's true, not many people do talk about the money side of things. I think it's a very British thing to not talk about money. Over in America and, and other places in the world, and this isn't a diss or you know a judgment or anything, that people are very open to talk about their, their income. And for some reason over here in England, it's, it's it's a little bit frowned upon. It's, it's very strange, but I'm happy to talk about it. So I do videography, photography, and podcast production and editing as a full-time job. I focus on those sort of three or four things every month. I look after various different clients uh, on a regular basis each month. And then I also have the odd random jobs where I, either I'll get an email from someone or I'll email people asking if they're looking for photos or uh, an introduction or pro promotional video. I can't really talk today. So roughly, each month I earn about £2,000 here in the UK which is I think is about $2,500 in the US and that sees me through all my bills, all my expenses and gives me more than enough to actually live on. Not just survive but actually just to live on. Next question is from Srimp on the Barbie. Interesting name, I'll, I'll, I'll show it up there. Shrimp, shrimp on a Barbie? I, I I don't know. But it says pineapple on pizza and that is a solid no. And I'm gonna go in depth to why I say no. Number one, I don't like pineapple. Number two, pineapple on pizza, I, I, I just don't feel it. And number three, I'm a meat feast kind of guy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the meat feast. Bit of chicken, bit of bacon, ham, pepperoni, and you know, extra cheese, maybe even stuffed crust if I'm, if I'm pushing the boat out. But yeah, pineapple on pizza is an absolute no-go for me. Next question is from Ruport. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Why do you prefer Canon over Nikon and Pentax and others? Well, Pentax, I mean, it's, it's Pentax, isn't it? But Nikon, uh, I, I just wouldn't use for video work. You know, Canon are a very good all-rounder. They're, they're very great for photos. They're very good for video as well. Um, Nikon, I'd say, are great for photos. But the video-wise, I haven't tried the new mirrorless Z, Z series of cameras, Z6 and Z7. Um, but... I, I, it just they just don't suit me they just don't suit me at all sony on the other hand they're doing some fantastic work with their with their video stuff i'm actually kind of jealous like with the a7s3 the a7c the a1 the specs on those cameras they're really listening to their audience you know they even put a flip out screen no record limits i just i wish canon would do certain things like that but i just love canon's menus their color science their their easeability to use i think that's a word but yeah Canon all the way for me. Next question is from Small Bag of Potatoes, which I, <laughs> great name, great name. Uh, is the Canon 5D Mark II still a good camera? Absolutely, without a doubt. It's a full frame camera, great autofocus, good video capabilities as well. I read a bunch of like camera magazines, like digital photos, a, a Canon based magazine here in the UK. And it will show loads of like landscape photos, portraits, wildlife. And it will also list the camera and lens option that was used to take that photo. And I'll be, I'm, I was honestly surprised with how many 5D Mark IIs and 5D Mark IIIs are still used. So if their photos are getting printed in magazines, that it's obviously a still a great camera. So if you're considering buying a 5D Mark II, go for it. This question is from GD underscore 102. And it says, when did you decide to go full time? Now, this is a story I've told many times on the channel. And I, I love telling it because it sort of like gives me that little bit of self inspiration, a little bit of self praise. And I think that's, that's important. You've got to give yourself a bit of love every now and then. And uh, this is sort of my story of why I decided to go full time. So rewind about a year and a half ago, I was working in a nursery. I'd been working in nurseries for five years, you know, looking after children. It was a really, really rewarding job, but it wasn't one I wanted to do. I was always doing photography and creating stuff on the side in the evenings, early in the mornings on weekends. And then lockdown came. Uh, we all knew on the, the Friday, we were all gonna be locked down. You go stay at home, no work, you're gonna be on first low and I just thought to myself something just clicked in my mind I was like do I really want to sit and wait for like six seven months to go back to a job that I don't really really want to be going back to or would I rather just sort of take a risk and do what I want and do what I love do what I'm passionate about 
as my career. And that's what I did. I quit my job the day before lockdown and started my own business, started my own photography, videography and production company. And that's what I'm doing. And it's I've never looked back since. Hope that inspires you a little bit. But um, yeah, this next question is from This Is Not Jade Clark great name. Uh, what is a good beginner camera? I use a Nikon D3300, but it broke and I need a new one. What do you recommend? Now, if you're watchers of the channel, you will know if you're looking to get a camera and if it's a first camera, something entry level and you're on a budget, I always, always recommend, highly recommend the Canon EOS M50. For the last two or three years, that is what I've been using as my main workhorse camera for YouTube videos, client work, photography, put podcast production, all that sort of stuff. I've been using the Canon M50. It's a very, very capable camera. I recommend you get that. You're gonna have a much better time than using Nikon. I've just scrolled down the comments. We've got quite a few more questions from Jack North here. So big up Jack North, shout out to you. How long have you been doing it? So I've always been doing creating, whether it's like music or photography, um, video work. I've always been doing it as a side hustle, but full time as my full time job, I've been doing it about a year and a half. Next question from Jack. Where do you see yourself in five years? I hate that question. I really hate that question. Um, with coronavirus and everything that's gone on, I think it's very, very hard to predict the future. No one really knows what's going to happen. You can always prepare and plan, but I didn't actually prepare and plan for the fact that I'd be quitting my job the day before lockdown. So it's a, it's a tricky one, but I'd like to be doing more work. I'd like to hire an editor um, and, you know, maybe expand my team a little bit because, you know, I'm doing everything right now. I'm doing all the filming. I'm doing all the, the emailing, the marketing, the, you know, I'm the CEO. I'm the I'm the, the marketing guy, the social media, the invoicing, the editor, the videographer, you know, the I'm, I'm doing everything here at my, at, my, at my business. So it'll be good to have a helping hand and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to expand that uh, within the next coming years. Question from Bentley P. 44. Is the Canon Rebel T5 a good camera? Yes. Yes, it is. I shoot blind. That is such a great username. These TikTok usernames are absolutely fantastic. I shoot blind. I'm struggling to find my niche in photography. How did you find yours and what would you recommend I try to find mine? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I wouldn't really say I have a niche when it comes to photography. I, I do all sorts. I do family photos, weddings, portraits, uh, couples photos, engagement shoots. It's, it's very tricky. I'm a sort of jack of all trades and master of none. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'm fairly decent at my job. Find what you're passionate about. It, what I suggest, you know, I really should take my own advice at times, but find what you're passionate about. Have a think about what you could talk to your friends and family about like all the time, like, and you'll never get bored of it. Talk about it until your family and friends get sick of it. If it's cars and you love taking pictures of cars, then yeah, shoot and aim to do car photography as your niche. Um, if it's weddings and you love weddings, going to weddings, engagement shoots and all that sort of stuff, aim for that sort of niche. That's what I suggest. I never know, is it niche or niche? Let me know in the comments below. And our final question from That Speed Solver, if you could have any camera, what would it be? So. This is any camera, so one camera, and it has to be good for video, it has to be good for photo as well. In fact, it's very, very tricky. I would go with the Canon C70, but that doesn't do photography, it doesn't do photos, it's purely just video. So, I think I'm gonna have to risk it. I'm gonna have to go with the Canon R5, despite the overheating problems, which I think are blown out of the water a little bit. If I could have any camera, it would be the Canon R5. So that draws a close to my Q&A. Thank you everybody who got involved. Those were fantastic questions, loved it. And I look forward to doing the next one over on TikTok or Instagram, or you know, I'll maybe even post a, a thing on YouTube about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video right over there.